Okay, it's 8 o'clock, 17%, 97%. Charging wirelessly. Four hours until full. Okay, and this is 10 watt. Now it doesn't say fast wireless charging, and we'll double check. Go to settings, battery, wireless charging. Whoa. Okay, well, we'll document this. And we'll come back in about 10 minutes and see the progress. And then what I'm gonna do is compare this. Oh, we are getting yellow. There we go, that's a little better. And we'll compare this with other wireless charging. We'll compare the 10 watt, the 5 watt, and, sorry, the 5 watt, the 10 watt, and the 15 watt. See you soon. Okay, so it has been 40 minutes. 41 minutes. And we were at 17%, and now we're at 31. Wow, that's, whew, that's, so that was not that fast. Not hot, not hot, and to make it fair, I put the phone, this is the LG ThinQ, I put it in airplane mode. That way there wouldn't be any background stuff. I closed all the apps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now that, that was the 10 watts, so now we're gonna do five watt and see what happens. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use a fast charger. Um, it doesn't really matter though. It really doesn't, I've tried both, but it's Samsung. Oh, that was my knees cracking. So it's gonna turn blue. You have to see this, this is really cool. I'm just waiting for, there we go. 50 and boom, 30%. Three hours and 24 minutes. There's that blue color. Letting us know that it's charging. Three hours, good grief. All right, 22.03, and we're at 55%. Huh, that's still really slow. ETA, two hours, 16 minutes. So now, we're gonna bring out the big kahuna and try out 15 watt. So we've tried five watt, we've tried 10 watt, now we're gonna try 15 watt and see if it's faster. Good morning. So let's finish this battery life in detail. So last night I wanted to do a standby test in between testing the 5 watt, 10 watt, and 15 watt wireless charging. So what I did is I closed all the apps and I put the phone into airplane mode. Well, it's been 8 hours later. Let's see how it does in standby. And I took a screenshot. And here's my screenshot from... Early in the morning, the battery was at 41%, saying 10 hours left. Well, now we'll minimize that, go into settings, and battery. We're at 40%, and it's saying 11 hours and 12 minutes left. So the phone got a nice nap. And we can see battery usage, six hours and 38 minutes. Now that was a combination of Wi-Fi and 5G. I would say at least 60% of the time it was on Wi-Fi. And if you've watched the other videos, there's a difference of battery life of at least 30 minutes if you're completely on 5G, if not more. Meaning instead of seven or eight hours of usage, you're gonna get six or seven hours of usage. But the standby time is great, and again, this is a 5,000 milliamp 
battery. It's, it's amazing. One of my favorite features and I'm gonna miss it because I have to return this one today. Sad time, but my three week testing period is over and it has to go back to T-Mobile. So let's start the charging. But in summary, standby time, if you can put your phone into airplane mode and eight hours later, it only loses 1%, that's really good. That, that's, that's good. Now some phones, you can put them in airplane mode, close all the apps, and the phone will barely go down 1% in 24 hours. That, that's really good. I haven't done that test. It, it's hard not to use a phone for 24 hours, but that's just me. Maybe you can do that test and let me know. Send me a link. I would like to watch that video. So now we're gonna do the 15 watt charging with this UTEC wireless charger. And you can see right there, it's the 15 watt, 10 watt or 7.5 watt. But I've already checked and this LG V60 ThinQ is compatible with 15 watt charging. So doing the math, five watt, 10 watt, 15 watt, this should be the fastest way to wirelessly charge the phone. Obviously, yeah, shoving a USB-C cable in the bottom of your phone, turning it off or putting it in airplane mode, yeah, the fastest for, for sure. But a lot of people that like wireless charging, such as me, and that's why I'm doing it. And we're gonna use the stock battery wall charger. I'll show you that. So this is the one that came with UTAC, and you can see all the fun stats on the bottom there so it shows all the wattage and volts and all that fun stuff and i'm here in america so i'm using this type of plug and i always recommend oem to oem meaning if you're gonna buy uh, an anchor 5 watt wireless charger then you should buy an anchor ac adapter to charge it I don't recommend mixing Samsung and Anchor, or is it Anchor? 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 Or mixing Samsung and Apple and, and so on. I always recommend not mixing and using OEM whenever possible. But I could not find a 15 watt charger made by LG online, so here we are using UTAC. And yes, those are Legos in the background. Ooh, anyone recognize that guy? A little mad eye moody in the morning. And we're filming on the OnePlus 6T today, which does pretty good. No gimbal, just a man. All right, sorry, tangent. Let's plug this in. Now to keep consistent, I've been charging with this thin case made by GoTo. It was one of the suggested cases when I ordered the phone on T-Mobile. It's a pretty thin case and it doesn't seem to inhibit wireless charging. And I did run tests, not on this video, but throughout the last, over the last three weeks. And a thin case versus just charging the naked phone, it doesn't seem to make a, dis a difference. As long as your phone is turning on and accepting wireless charging, um, yeah, and here I'll prove that point. So we'll put that on there. Bloom, fast wireless charging two hours and 10 minutes. Okay, now that's in the naked phone, right? No case. So now we take it off. And I'm gonna do the same trick. Two hours and 10 minutes. So right now the battery life is at 40%. Now one thing that is different on these wireless chargers, this one's 10, this one's five. You'll notice there's there's no fan. Well, this one has a fan because it is charging it so fast and a lot of phones tend to overheat when they're doing that conduction charging between the wireless plates. So I'm gonna take off my lab mic here, hold on. So the house is pretty quiet right now and let's hear that fan. It's not really loud, is it? Not really loud at all. Here, let me put out back on the lap mic. 
And there we go. So now we'll just wait. So it's already at two hours and eight minutes. And the last time I did this test, it was charging not quite a half a percent per minute. So I'm very curious to see if maybe that was a fluke. Uh, I talked with someone charging their iPhone and they too had issues at first, like it, it wouldn't even charge. But I mean, the plates are lined up and this one actually has two charging plates. Uh, there's one up high and there's one down low so you can charge the device either portrait or landscape. And there we go, it's charging. But I want to charge it. Wireless charging stopped. Oh, and it's back on. And you can hear that fan. Now the fan's not really loud. If anything, it's ambient noise. And we'll come back in about 40 minutes and see how long this device took to charge. See you real soon. Many minutes later, it's now at 65% battery and one hour and 20 minutes left. Time for more math. Hours later, and I mean that literally hours later, the dual screen finally finished charging. Okay, a little bit of a smoke and mirrors here. <gasps> it's not inside. Uh, I'm actually filming on the LG V60 because I wanted to showcase the sound. So, which charger is better? We have charger number A, the 5 watt Anker. Charger number B, the 10 watt Hokunui. Or behind door number C, UTEC, or Hutec? UTEC, this 15 watt awesome charger. Da -da 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 -da. Why I can really see the ink there. Anyway, so here we have it. At 746, it was at 40%. You can read or pause through the, re through the rest. Uh, had a visit some, from some awesome teachers, so I shot the video. Continue to charge it. 1046. It finally reached 100%. And then the charger turned off, which is a really nice feature. So we're just going to pretend that this is the phone, and then you put the phone on there, and then it charges. When it reaches 100%, the fan turns off and the phone stops charging. So, yeah, you can safely charge your devices at night with this UTEC device. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I ran a couple tests and it, and it works. Now one thing that's not gonna work is if you have the always on display. So let's pretend, oh wait a minute, hang on. I totally forgot about my OnePlus 6T. So we'll pretend that this has wireless charging. So you put that on there and then as long as it doesn't have the always on display on, where it's, you know, always on like that, it will turn off charging automatically. Now you notice this UTEC is flashing that green light at me, and that's because there's a problem. And the problem is OnePlus 6T, the OnePlus 7s, the OnePlus 4s and 3s and 2s, and anyway, all the OnePluses up until the newly released OnePlus 8 did not have wireless charging. But hey, that's not what the video is about. So let's do some quick math. 7 to 10, 3 hours. It took 3 hours using 15 watt charging on this device to charge 40% to 100%. Now keep in mind, from 40% all the way to 94%, I had the phone in airplane mode. I still kept it in airplane mode, put it back on the charger, and that last 6% took almost 40, well, about 35 minutes. 
Yikes, that's a long time. And again, airplane mode. So that video I took, it was not backing up. Anyway, let's do some math and I will, well, more likely, let me do some math and we'll come back and I'll give you a summary. See you soon. Okay, what we're gonna do is a fun little test. We're gonna charge it one more time and I wanted to show you how it automatically turns off. So now we've switched and we're filming on the OnePlus 60, which doesn't wirelessly charge, but eh, I don't really care so much. Wireless charging is somewhat of a gimmick, especially if it takes three hours. Although I talked to a good friend in Arizona and what he said is this, I don't really care, Pete, uh, because when I go to bed at night, I just place my phone on my charger and that's it, I'm done. So let's do that and I'll show you how it works. Okay, here it goes. So the phone is in do not disturb mode, but it is on. Oh, that kind of defeats the purpose, hang on. Let's change that to airplane mode. Gotta keep the test valid. And there we go, 91%, 1333. Let me zoom in so you can see here. Battery, battery usage. Okay, 23 minutes, huh? We'll see about that. And we'll turn this off. Now if you're really, really quiet, you can hear the fan. Okay, we'll come back in 23 minutes and we'll see how UTEC does. Well, let's hope that worked. So the fan went off at 1400, which means that took exactly 20, whoops, zoom out. That took exactly 27 minutes to fully charge. Yeah, that sounds about right because that top off 90%, well, in reality, the top off from 80% to 100% for batteries takes a long time. Hmm, interesting. But, UTEC delivered and, oh, hang on. Look away, please. UTEC delivered and the device turned off. So right now the fan is still off. You, you can't hear that, but it is. It's still off. The device is not warm. UTEC, not warm. Move the Legos here. That was my daughter's idea. And yeah, nothing's warm. Now if we put it back on, the fan kicked in. Now the weird thing is, I've tried this three different ways. I've charged it in the case, I've charged it with the USB-C cable, and I've charged it wirelessly, and it doesn't notify you when it's fully charged. Uh, one would think, with the $900 phone that when it's charged, it would, you know, pop up some display or, or, or something. Uh, I took it off, do not disturb. Yeah, it's not in do not disturb, the sound's on. I don't know, I, I just, I like the animations that uh, Android has. There's your charging stats. So I'll run the numbers, I'll be right back. So, <laughs> um, we're in a different shirt, getting a little bit of glare there. It's going on three days. I finally, well, yeah, I got some sleep and I finally finished 
the math. There is a lot of math and I double checked some figures and I redid more math and I transferred all this to a spreadsheet. So let's wrap this up. 5 watt, 10 watt, or 15 watt charging. Which one do you prefer and, but really, which one is the fastest mathematically? Let's take a look. So content number one, the five watt charger by Anker, simulated by a small little dog. Five watt, very thin, it works, but man is it slow. Contender number two, what was that, the, the Frozen, what's his name? Anyway, that character from Frozen, written by Harry Potter. This is the Hokanui Power Bank. It does 10 watt wireless charging. I really like it. And that's Hokanui, yeah. And then the 15 watt charger by Hutek. And yeah, let's take a look at the stats. So here we have the three stats. We did all that, I show you the spreadsheet. And here's the good stuff. So yeah. We'll start off with Anchor. Anchor charges roughly at 0.1% per minute. Yeah, you do the math. It literally takes hours to charge your device. And whether it's a 4,000 milliamp or a 5,000 milliamp, it's still slow. Contender number two, Hokanui, 10 watt wireless charging. That charges at about 0.3%. 3.5% per minute. And then we have UTEC, which I thought, oh, it's going to be faster. Yeah. It's about the same. <laughs> it's about the same. What I was able to get was another uh, test that I ran, and I cranked it up to 0.385%. And that was at a 60% charge all the way to 100 when I got that percentage. Now when, whoops, screensaver. Now when you're charging directly through AC, you're getting, you're getting much better. Hang on, let me get that. Okay, here it is. So I ran this test a few days ago on the 18th and I had it off the entire time, which was easy because I had to do a bunch of work. It took just under two hours to charge. So that was 0.9% per minute. So it's still not charging at 1% per minute, even when it's off. And that was using the OEM cables. I, I always use OEM. It's just, I always recommend it. So there you have it. There's the summary of the charging, both 5 watt, 10 watt, and 15 watt charging. Uh, 10 watt and 15 watt, not a big difference. And again, yeah, you, you could do a lot more tests. I just wanted to do the tests that I could do in the best controlled environment that I could think of with the charges that I had. I'm uh, gonna be returning the UTEC one. Uh, it's, I mean, it works, but I just, yeah, it's not fast enough. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a 30 watt. Maybe I'll just wait for a 40 watt. Uh, wireless charger. So that's all I have for now. Hope you enjoyed this battery test of the LG Thin Q and yellow yeah, smoke and mirrors. I don't have it in there because I'm filming on it. But this has been PH Digital with another gadget review, and today's focus was on battery charging, more importantly, wireless charging. And that's all I have for now. Until next time, remember to run farther to get further in life. Goodbye.